Why Warren Buffet and other investors do not buy real estate? Hello friends, welcome to Pile Investing channel. We are posting content and videos every week about personal finance, passive income, investing, financial freedom, biographics, books, and many more. Please subscribe to my channel for updates about finance and money. Today, I will talk about Warren Buffet's investment strategy and portfolio. Let's have a short introduction. Who is Warren Buffet? He is American investor, business magnate and chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. He is 91 years old and has a net worth of $116 billion. It makes him the world's sixth wealthiest person. Warren Buffett's strategy is simple. Many flashy techniques and ways have come and gone, but basics of investments never changed. He owns stocks of solid companies and holds it for long-term growth. Warren Buffet doesn't buy real estate. Maybe it is very strange for many investors. Why Warren Buffet is not interested in buying real estate and building his fortune? He is not against investing in real estate. There is a difference between buying real estate and investing in real estate. Buying and managing real estate is a full-time challenging business and does not comply with the fully passive investing principles. Individual investors have limited capital to invest and need a lot of wealth to buy significant real estate. It needs to scale to comprise several properties to build a remarkable profit. When individual investors get into real estate with a miscalculation that it's a passive investment, then they realized soon that it took a lot of wealth and time to get a small profit at the beginning. Why the greatest investor, Warren Buffett, did not buy real estate instead? He invested in real estate and bought REITs. If you know the REITs, it is a real estate investment trust. I am making a video on the world's best REITs very soon. Please subscribe and press the bell button to get the notification. Let's dive into deeper. What are the key elements to not buying real estate but instead investing in real estate and following the world's best investor strategies? Do not miss the end of the video. I will reveal Warren Buffet's favorite REITs and how his company Berkshire Hathaway invested in these REITs. So, our first element is lack of mispricing opportunity in real estate. If you are not in the fully real estate business, it is very difficult to get a good opportunity at a low price. Warren Buffet explains that mispricing in real estate is very minimal and very rare. Most people buy real estate for long term and not sell it easily because this price is efficient and constant. Real estate investors never sell their property at low prices. In contrast, stock market mispricing is very frequent. Most investors are buying stocks for the short term. And when stocks are getting down, they are selling due to panic. If you are a value investor, 
it is very easy to get a good deal in the stock market and buy stocks at a low price. A long horizon, the price of the stock market will go up as we analyze the history of the stock markets in the last century. 2. Lack of competitive advantage in real estate. Warren Buffet and Charlie Munger invested millions of dollars in real estate in the beginning. Soon they realized that they could not compete with the real estate market and professionals. Real estate experts and REITs, exchange trade funds managers, have more information about properties worth them. How an individual investor competes the real estate professionals where Warren Buffet was unable to do it more. He is very realistic about limitations and unable to understand real estate unless you are fully focused on it. Normal investors trapped in flashy real estate schemes after watching online gurus advice. 3. Low Liquidity The real estate investing horizon is long term. Most investors borrow the money to buy properties and pay off the loans over the years. Such properties cannot be sold immediately which will lead to minimizing the liquidity. Values of property become greater over the one or two decades. In contrast, REITs are trading in the stock market openly and it gives benefits to sell and buy shares in the short term and long term. REITs have an edge in more liquidity. 4. Management and Scalability Challenges Investors assume that real estate is a passive investment, but it is a constant hustle to manage tenants, maintenance, possession, rent, etc. If there are large scale of properties and must need a property management company, these companies are charging huge expenses and profitability effects. That is the reason Warren Buffet prefers REITs, Real Estate Investment Trust. They have professional managers and are easy to manage. 5. REITs Bright Future Owing a property associated with the cost of mortgage interest, maintenance fee, insurance fee, renovations, property state, and federal tax. Investing in REIT does not have any cost except the minimum commission broker fee. If you are U.S. citizen and buy REITs from a tax deferred account like 401k, similarly, UK investors have their own tax benefits account to buy stocks like SIPP. So there are ways to get benefit tax on REITs investments. Warren Buffet is a value investor and he always looking for high class assets at discounted prices. Private real estate is a hot spot now and it is impossible to get prices on a low level. The demand of property is very high because the banks are giving loans at low interest rates. As a landlord, to collect the rent from tenants is a headache. Sometimes, the depreciation and appreciation in properties. Why not avoid tenants and property management companies issues and enjoy stable income from REITs? They are paying 90% taxable income in dividends quarterly. There are different types of REITs, mortgage REITs, commercial REITs, industrial REITs, housing REITs, 
and medical facilities reads. Some REITs have diversified portfolios of properties like retail, fast food, residential properties, and store properties. Warren Buffet REITs Let's discuss Warren Buffet's favorite REITs. The first REIT is Tor Capital, S T O R. They bought a sizable capital and own more than 10% shares of store. Store capital yield is around 4.6% annually and increasing dividends every year since 2014 launched IPO. Store is generating stable and growing income for investors. Second, Warren Buffet favorite reads is Heritage. S R G. They are leasing, selling, development, and redevelopment properties. They are relatively focused on growth and paying dividends slightly low around 2.4%. So far, what we overview in this video, if I summarize, I compared the real estate and stock market investment pros and cons. I divided five key elements to look at before choosing real estate. Number one, lack of mispricing. It is very rare real estate is on sale like stocks. Number two, not getting benefits from competitive advantage. Number three is low liquidity in real estate. Number four is management and scalability issues in real estate. Number five, REITs is future and easy to manage a few clicks as compared to landlord. In last, we see the Warren Buffet picked REITs, store and Sertage. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Pile Investing for more videos.